Hi, I'm Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you how to create stellar overlays for your Restream Studio live broadcast using Canva. So let's get right to it. Here we are in Canva, and I'm going to click Create a Design Presentation. The reason I choose Presentation is because it's already 16 by 9 format, and it's 1920 by 1080 screen size for our broadcast. With that in mind, I'm gonna go down here to our folders palette. I'm gonna go here to my Restream folder, and I'm gonna use my secret weapon image. I have an additional tutorial that shows you how to create one of these and the importance of it. So please check out that tutorial. But in the meantime, we're gonna drag this over and fill the slide with that image. And this gives us a template to draw on top of so we know how our overlay fits in our video. So for the first overlay, we're actually going to draw the frame around our video screen. So let's go to Elements, Shapes, and let's pick the rectangle. And we're going to draw the frame for our overlay. And this is really basic, and I usually kind of do them at a little angle. And another shape. And finally, the last shape. Now I'm going to colorize these shapes and I want to show you another quick tip. If I go down here to my folder, you also notice that I have my Restream logo here that has the brand colors of it, right? So I'm going to click on one of those to add it to the screen. And because that's added, Canva has now made these colors options in my color palette. So if I go over here and I click this sidebar, click color, my brand colors are now options. So I'll click that orange. And we'll make the other two black. All right, so now we have our basic frame. Let's delete that. And we can also delete our secret weapon image. So that is our first frame. We're just gonna hold on to this for now and create a new page. We're gonna click our secret weapon image one more time. Fill this slide with that image. And now we're gonna go a completely different route to create an overlay. So for this one, we're going to draw the opening that we want to be able to see our video through. So let's go back to elements, shapes, we we'll use the same square again. But this time we're going to turn down the opacity of that shape so we can see ourselves through it. And now let's draw out the opening that we want. So that's our opening that we want for our basic overlay. And now we can take the transparency back up and we can click our secret weapon image and delete it. I'm going to go back to my folder one more time and I'm going to grab one of my step and repeat backgrounds that I made. And we're going to fill the slide with that image and position it to the back. Let's click on that blue and we're going to turn it to a dark gray. We're going to be clicking this color and deleting it. And the reason I don't want to do a loud color, it's never really fully selected. And so you don't want to have remnants of a little bright color or bright ticks all around your overlay. Instead, having a gray or a black, if there's any remnants of it, it'll look like a shadow and it won't be something distracting from your overlay. So that's why I picked dark gray. So now we have our first overlay done and our second overlay done. All we have to do now is bring them into the next part of our workflow and create the transparency. So let's go to download and we're going to download these as JPEGs because transparency doesn't matter right now. We're going to take the transparency out in the next application. So let's go there right now. So here we are in Photo P, which is a free web-based design app where we're going to bring in our graphics and create the transparency we need for our overlays. I'm going to drag the first one into Photo P. And all we have to do now 
is go down to the fourth icon, one, two, three, four, which is the magic wand tool and click on the spot that you want to make transparent. Hit delete and now I've created a transparent opening for my overlay. I go to file, export as PNG. And I have created my first overlay, just that easy. Now for our second overlay, let's bring it in. And the first thing we want to do is go to our last overlay that we had here, which is now called background. We're going to click it and click the trash can to delete it. And also, if you look here at this image, it has little squares in the corner. That means that the image is not ready yet to be used. We're going to right click on it and we're going to say rasterize. And now that image is ready. Those little squares are gone and now we can delete portions of the image. So now we have the wand tool again. We're going to click the gray, click delete, and we have created transparency for this one. File, export as PNG, save. Here we are back in Restream Studio, and I'm going to show you how to add and use the overlays we just created. So you want to make sure that you're in the graphics tab and we're going to scroll down here. I like to turn off the default graphics that come with the software just so we can clearly see the things that we add and we can use them quicker. Go down here to overlay, hit plus, and we're going to add our two overlays. So overlay number one, click plus again, overlay number two. And to use them, we just click the show button. So show first overlay, and this is the first overlay we made where we drew out the frame and then deleted the middle for the opening. And our second overlay, which is the overlay of the background we put the shape on top of and then cut out in Photo P. All right, so see you all in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.